what up everybody and welcome back to my channel thank you so much for clicking i'm truly grateful if you're new to this channel do me a favor smash the subscribe button so we can grow this channel together so guys today i'm in the honda sandero uh, motorcycle showroom it is a showroom that exhibits motorcycles made here in china uh, from the honda factory so it is still genuinely honda but as you may already know or if you don't know uh, 400 cc and lower cc motorcycles from honda are mostly manufactured in the sandero honda factory here in china and so i'm in one of the showrooms here to show you the cv 400 f that is on display all right so i'm just going to start from the front of the bike and before i go ahead you can see right on the side is its cousin or yeah because they are both 400 cc's this is a nx 400 which i've already reviewed on my channel and so I'm going to leave the link up there for those who haven't watched it before. But if we move back to the 400F, um, well, let's start from the front. So yeah, it's from the first look, it looks very similar to that of the uh, 400X. That was before this one, but this one is an NX. So there are slight differences. So I'm just going to start from the top here. And as you can see, um, this what is very striking here is a new headlamp so it's designed just like that on the annex which from pictures doesn't look good but when you are standing close to it it looks really nice so there is this very cute small looking daytime running light and then you have the headlamps so you have the low beam and the high beam and it's all led as it, it is and should be in fact almost all bikes come with LEDs now so you have that and you also have their turn signals which are LED as well of course it's a 400 cc so to distinguish it the design of the um, turn signals are a little bit different from that of the bigger siblings the 500s but yeah it is looking really really nice and this blacked out one uses very nice plastics very solid as well so quality wise generally it doesn't look too different from the from the bigger ones i mean it's honda it doesn't matter if it's built in china or not they're still going to uphold the quality moving on to the tires we have twin discs brake discs on the front with some very nice clean wide brake discs which is really cool it means it's going to give it some really nice bite when you're trying to break this bike and you have relatively okay travel suspension of course it's not an adventure style so it doesn't need a longer travel suspension and then you have a reflector on the right side you have your nascent brake calipers right there looking all really beefy and what tires do we have on here we have 120 70 rim 17 it might be dark here because uh, the location here is quite dark and some nice looking rims as well compared to my CB 500 X or the 500 or NX 500 um, series the tires look relatively the wheels look relatively small because it's 17 inch and that is 19 inch on the 500 siblings so everything is kind of squished but yeah and then here you have your radiator poking out looking really really nice and if you look at the suspension let's see what suspension it comes with here so it doesn't look like a shore it just looks like an in-house honda suspension and if we go Further on the right side, you have the fairing here, which has CB500F decal on it. You got Honda right there. And I like the design of this tank. It's, it has some nice angles, probably for aerodynamics, and made my double S for beauty as well. And then you have your engine block, blacked out engine block. And you have this exhaust pipes, twin exhaust coming from the engine angled very similar to that on the bigger 500 siblings but the engine design is the same just that it comes with an output of 400 cc's and here you have your brake paddle 
which is designed very similar or same as that of the bigger siblings. The placement of the reservoir is at the same place as the bigger ones. And then you have this plastic, which the 500s have as well. So yeah, moving on, let's look at the exhaust. So you get the exhaust which I believe is the same design as that of the 500s and I have a single outlet so here in China the 400s and the 500s both come with a single outlet but I've seen online where in other markets where they have twin ex twin outlets don't know why that is but yeah that's what you get when you're buying it in China and then on the side where your thighs are supposed to rest it's kind of like this nice plastic running from below the tank all the way to the middle or almost the end of the rider seat and you have some nice metal tactile foot rest for the passenger and you also have a nice okay size foot rest if because it's not an adventure bike you don't really need a, a very wide foot peg for the rider and it's it's very nicely nicely done it's soft as well so it's gonna help with some vibration if there is any and then you have you have your swing arm right there the frame which has a very smooth design and uh, moving on to the back you got very nice looking uh, brake disc of course and you got your ABS all very nice looking solid metal you see many bikes around but when you come back to the legacy brands you can see the quality and the quality of the the metals or materials that are used and this it still comes with this old style honda uh, chain adjustment sort of bolts which i believe works so they maintain it on the 400s but that on the 500 works differently and then you have your rear brake caliper uh, also Nissan of course and then on the rear what do we have here we have 160 60 rim 17 so front tire is 17 the rear tire is 17 as well and if you look down here there is no protection for debris going to the suspension which other bikes are doing now so I don't know why Honda is not doing that but maybe the suspension or the spread out the rear suspension is of very high quality that it's able to resist um, debris and still work perfectly but I would just think that slapping on a simple very light plastic there wouldn't wouldn't uh, hurt because it will help to keep it clean and if we move on to the back as usual you have your LED turn signals and this whole unit is held on by this metal frame here which is makes it look really sleek and coming down here you have your number plate seat right here with this nice rubber here to stop it from vibrating and you also have a reflector and I believe the lights for the rear the rear the plate and get a Honda right there and if you stay on the brake lights it's squished it used to be on the old 500 400x it used to be a split system but now it's just this sort of triangular 3d shaped which looks really small but you can see four leds in there so i believe they know what you're, they're doing it's going to give out some really bright light but i would wish it was a little bigger just to distinguish between bicycles and e-bikes and motorcycles for for example because it's a lot easier for people to be able to tell if it's a bigger bike coming than a bicycle or an e-bike but anyways so staying on the right we have on the left we have a nice looking chain and the design and color of the of the rear sprocket is very similar or the same maybe design as that of the 500x then you have very nice color coded chain tension indicator right there and you have this chain cover which has very similar design as the 500 
And if we go to the left hand side, of course, as usual, the second peg, which is sounds really nice, very, very tactile. And whilst I'm here, let me just take a look at the pannier seat. So it's not very wide for long journeys. Of course, it's not meant for that, but for short journeys, for a passenger, that's enough. And on the left hand side, you have your rider's foot peg and you have a gear lever. All very standard for the 400 and 500 C CCs. Design is very similar to the previous years. And looking in front there, you have the front setup, which we've already talked about. So yeah, overall, it looks really nice. Now, I'll just talk about this very interesting. So, so there is this wind outlet here, which is going to be very good for aerodynamics. So on both sides here and there. So the wind is just going to flow over your legs or your thighs and flow through here and out here. So it's going to help with the airflow and aerodynamics to help with speed and fuel efficiency. Now, if you're sitting up, this is what you're going to see. The bike is a little angled, so pardon me. And you have your uh, fuel cap cover. Very, very tactile, very, very high quality feeling. And looking at the front, we don't have the key here, but I'm sure you, there are many videos online showing the new TFT screen. And if we just look on the left hand side, very standard, no radar indicator or whatever, blind spot monitoring, nothing like that. So it's the controls here are the same as that on the new NX500 and NX400. So what we have here is your turn signal, left and right, very tactile, and your horn. Instead of pressing the whole button in, the trick is to press it down to engage the horn which is um, I don't know if with thick gloves it's going to be easy to do and then you have this direction button here to change things on the new TFT screen and you have traction control here which I believe is for uh, setting the traction control level or maybe turning it off completely and then you have your flash to pass button and then push it out for high beam low beam high beam low beam all really nice this is not screwed properly i believe it's like that from factory of course when you're picking it up it's, they're gonna fix it up for you and then on the right hand side you have a nice reservoir for your brake fluid and your standard push start stop and then your hazard light and then your engine start stop button get a right uh, front brake lever and on the left you get a clutch lever as usual, very soft, high quality from Honda. And uh, yeah, some nice grips, which have been brought from the previous Honda uh, bikes. It's a really nice grip, so there's really no need to change it. It's a nice size and it fits in my hand perfectly. Even if you have small hands, it's still gonna fit really, really nicely. Alright guys, so that's it for this video. It was a quick walk around of the new Honda CV 400F 2024 model that was just released together with the NX400, which is over there. I hope you really enjoyed the video. I remember someone was asking in the comment section when I released the video of the NX400 that they wanted to see the new 400F. So if you are also interested in this bike, there you go. That was the video for you. So thank you so much for watching. I'm truly grateful. If you are new to this channel, do me a favor, smash the subscribe button so we can grow this channel together. And don't forget to like the video when you watch it. Alright guys, thank you so much for sticking around. Till I see you in the next video guys, ride legal, ride safe, always peace, and I'm out.